Hi guys, and welcome to the video on area and perimeter of regular polygons. So in this video guys, I'm going over the area of regular polygons when you're given the apothem, or maybe perhaps you need to work backwards and find the apothem given the, the area. Um, regular polygons, uh, we're doing this because regular polygons are useful components of compound shapes. And you'll know you're successful when you can find the area of any regular polygon using the apothem with 80% accuracy. So, remember that regular polygons are ones where all the sides and angles are the same. So there's a unique way to calculate their area. We can easily calculate the perimeter of such shapes. All that we need to do is multiply the number of sides by the length of one side, and we have the perimeter. And then for the area, we can use the formula a formula based on triangles that properly calculates the area of that regular polygon. So a new piece of information, a new segment we have is called the apothem. Every regular shape has what's known as an apothem. The apothem of a regular polygon is a perpendicular segment from the center of the polygon to a side of the polygon. It's basically a miniature height. It's a halfway height because it goes from the, it forms a 90 degree angle with the side, it cuts the side in half, and um, it goes directly to the middle, like the direct center of the regular polygon. Um, and because it's a mini height, like I said, it cuts the side that it hits in half. There are multiple apothems in each segment, or uh, in each uh, polygon. And if you make joining segments from the center to the angles, so not the apothem, all of those segments are congruent. So the ones that I'm talking about are the ones marked with a single dash on this screen. Um, I wouldn't call them radiuses, but they're very, very similar, and, but they are congruent to each other as well. So don't forget that the perimeter is calculated by adding all the sides of a polygon together. Since our polygons in this section are regular, we can multiply one side's length by the number of sides of the polygon. So in this case, the perimeter is 72 centimeters because we have a 12 centimeter side times six sides. So we have 72 centimeters. So the formulas, guys, for this are if we have a regular polygon, um, if we do not have the perimeter, meaning like it's not given to us, just multiply um, S times N, where S is the length of each side and N is the number of sides. And then uh, you multiply that by one half of the apothem. And that is the area of the regular polygon. If you have the perimeter, you simply multiply one half the apothem times the perimeter, and that will give you the area. So let's jump right in. Find the area of the regular pentagon below. So regular pentagon means that n equals 5. So um, if I know that n equals 5, where n is the number of sides, um, here I, I know that s equals 8.5. So I'm going to go ahead and just calculate the perimeter right away. The perimeter would be equal to 5, number of sides, times my side length of 8.5. Uh, so the perimeter here is going to be equal to uh, 42.5. Uh, units uh, because a unit is not given and then so I can calculate the area by doing one half of the apothem so capital A is for area here so AR I'm going to put and little a is for apothem times the perimeter so uh, the area of this shape is going to be equal to one half um, times uh, 6 times 8.5. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply that all out on my calculator. Um, half times 6 times... Oh, I put 8.5. My mistake. That should be a 42.5. 42.5. Because I'm using the perimeter. So, uh, starting over, we get half times 6 times 42.5. And the area of this pentagon is 127.5 units squared. Okay, 
So find the area of the regular hexagon below. Again, I have a side of 12, and I have a apothem of 6. So um, I know that a hexagon has 6 sides. I know that one of the sides is 12. So if I'm going to calculate the perimeter, I get 6 times 12. So the perimeter here is 72 units. And then to calculate the area, we're going to do 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. So 1 half of 6 times 72. So half of 6 times 72. Uh, and I get an area of 216 units squared. Okay, so now I'm going to work backwards. Okay, find the apothem of the octagon below. So I do know the area. Okay, I know the area of the octagon, um, which is also n equals 8. But I'm also going to need to find the perimeter. Uh, I know that I have a side length of 32 here. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate the perimeter really fast. So the perimeter is equal to 8 times 32. So that gives me a total of 256, 256 units. So now I'm going to set up my formula. A equals AR, so for area is equal to one half the apothem times the perimeter. So the area here, uh, which is given to me, so I'm actually going to substitute that in, is 4,940.8 equals one half times the apothem times 256. So this is a string of multiplication, so I'm going to undo it. I'm going to do 4,940.8 divided by 256, and I get 19.3. So I divided both sides by 256. So divide that by 256, divide that by 256, and I get 19.3 is equal to 1 half times the apothem. Now, in order to cancel one half of multiplying by one half, what we're going to do is take this entire side and we're going to multiply it by two. And to do the same thing to the other side, to keep the equation balanced, we're going to multiply by two. So I'm going to take 19.3 and multiply it by two. And I get that the apothem here is equal to 38.6. And actually, I was given a unit centimeters. So I'm going to go up here real quick, and I wrote units. I wrote units, but it should be centimeters. So the apothem is 38.6 centimeters. OK, moving on. So here's an example of one we need to use trig. Find the area of the hexagon below. OK, so what I am going to do is I need to find the apothem, OK? Um, it's missing, okay? That red segment is missing. Find the area of the hexagon. I do know that a hexagon is six sides, and each side here is 10. So I can quickly calculate the perimeter by saying uh, 6 times 10. So the perimeter is 60 centimeters. Okay, but remember that in my area calculation, I need one half the apothem times the perimeter, which is 60 here. So in order to calculate this apothem, okay, I'm going to have to dig back to um, the definition of an apothem. And I know that these two sides here are congruent. And they're half of the 10. So this is 5 in here, and this is 5 in here. 
Um, the next thing that I'm going to need to recognize then is that um, inside of the center angle here, um, this is from here all the way around back. That's 360 degrees. And when I do this formula and I have all of these like triangles in here, I am splitting all of this equally. So this is a th uh, this segment right here. That is one out of six equal components. So I can split the 360 in half, or in not in half, by six, to get that each one of those is 60 degrees. And then I have to split it further because the red segment cuts that in half. So this would be 30 degrees in here. Well, I have a 30 degree angle, a 90 degree angle, because it's the apothem, which means that this here is going to be a 60 degree angle. So a 30, 60, 90 triangle, I can use those special ratios. So A is going to be equal to 5 times the square root of 3, because 5 is the short side. Um, so my reasoning here is that 5 is the short leg and I'm trying to find so trying to find the long leg so I'm gonna take the short leg and multiply it by the square root of 3 so I'm gonna use a decimal approximation here um, for this one so 5 times the square root of 3 is roughly about 8 0.66. So we're going to sub that into our formula. So the area is equal to one half times 8.66 times 60. So uh, a half of 8.66 times 60. And our area is approximately 259.8 centimeters squared. All right. In this example, no apothem or side is given. So we're going to have to do quite a bit of work to find the area of the pentagon below. I know that the uh, side is 5 or there are five sides. I don't know the length of the sides, which means I don't know the perimeter and I don't know the apothem either. But one thing that I can start off by doing is by drawing a matching segment of four in here from this corner to here. So this segment over here would be four. And I can drop this down all the way here. And uh, the next thing I can do is I can remember that there are 540 degrees in a pentagon. And for this triangle here, the distance from here to here would be 540 divided by 5. So I can take the 540 and split that equally 5 times to get 108 degrees. Um, excuse me, the, the segment that I'm actually referring to is not this middle segment here. Nope. The segment that I'd be referring to is uh, this angle here. Um, and then I can take half of it. So we'll divide that by 2 and get 54 degrees. So this is in here a 54 degree angle. 54 degree angle, excuse me. Then what I can do is I can use some trigonometry, some good old fashioned sine of 54 or, or um, in order to find the apothem. So I'm going to use the four here. 
uh, is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So this right triangle here, this one, this is the one that I'm referring to. Um, four is definitely the hypotenuse. So if I, t if I write a trig ratio, the sine of 54 is equal to the apothem over the, so remember it's opposite, excuse me, it's opposite O over H. Well, in this case, A is the, A is the opposite side, and the hypotenuse is 4. So if I set up my trig ratio and cross multiply, I'm going to get 4 times the sine of 54 is equal to the apothem. So uh, I'll take the sine of 54 degrees and multiply that by 4. And I get the apothem to be about 3.23. And then in order to find this length here, which I'll label with an x, um, I can do the same thing except I'm going to do with cosine now. So the cosine of 54 is equal to um, the adjacent side over 4. And flipping, cross-multiplying, remember that the adjacent side here is, is x. So I would get 4 times the cosine of 54 is going to be equal to x. So then I'm going to go ahead and just do that in my calculator. Cosine of 54 times 4. Uh, the little adjacent side here, x, is equal to 2.35. Now to find this entire length, remember that this and this are congruent. So they're both equal to x. So the entire side would be 2.5. 3, 5 times 2, which is 4.70. So I know the side is 4.7. So I can calculate the perimeter now as 5 times 4.7, which is 23.5 units. And then the apothem was 3.23. So I can use that in my formula of area is equal to one half of the apothem times the apothem times the perimeter of 23.5. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that all out. And I get that the area here when I round it is equal to 30, 37.9 five units squared. Um, that's a pretty complicated example, guys. Um, I wouldn't really expect us to, to have to do those on the regular, but I just wanted to show you just in case something like that ever came up. So that's it, guys. Regular polygons are ones whose angle, sides and angles are all the same. We should remember that definition. Um, to calculate the perimeter of a regular polygon, we can multiply the length of one side by the number of sides. And to calculate the area of a regular polygon, we use the formulas given here, the one-half the apothem times the perimeter, or one-half of the apothem times the sides times the number of sides. Um, so that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.